I'm a, I'm a sucker for a straw. I love drinking out of a straw. I couldn't get I couldn't get the 40 ounce. I couldn't do the handle, but I can do this handle. That's what I can do in this 30 ounce. It's cute. Hi, hello. Hope you're doing well. Um, welcome back to our weekly affirmations to start your week with intentional intention and positivity. Positivity. Um, my name is Atenosa. I feel like I for always forget to say my name, but my name is Atenosa. Um, I'm the creator of Enhanced Individual, which is a lifestyle and a fashion brand. And um, I'm here to, you know, talk affirmations. Let's manifest. Let's let's get to that next level. Let's be who we've always envisioned ourselves to be. Shing, 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 shing. I'm a Stanley girl. I'm a Stanley girl, honestly. This is, I love this. This is such a tangent, but I actually love this. This is truly, maybe can be harmful to people, but I love this top thing and I'm, I'm a sucker for a straw. I love drinking out of a straw. I couldn't get, I couldn't get the 40 ounce. I couldn't do the handle, but I can do this handle. That's what I can do in this 30 ounce. It's cute. <laughs> I love that tangent that I went on because that's just me. That's just me off the cuff, random day. Um, I'm super bubbly sometimes, charismatic, optimistic, just spitting out positivity some days. Um, I'm random. Um, I sometimes I feel like, well, so random that sometimes I feel like when I talk, I confuse myself. I'm like, what did I just say? Literally, I feel like that office uh, TikTok, there was just, <laughs> she was like, I feel like I really get it. What did I just say? I talk a lot. And so I've just learned how to tune myself out. I swear to you, there's a piece of me that is exactly like that. But honestly, it comes in the clutch. I'm, this is gonna sound bad, but I'm really great at just like sitting in a conversation and just having people talk at me or talk to me and just not like zoning out, but just being like, I'm engaged, but I'm just kind of like in the background, if that makes sense. But I used to think like, oh my gosh, like that's so horrible. Like I'm not listening. And then I was like, there's a lot of people who are talking. They're talking a lot and um, I don't mind talking either or engaging conversation. Um, but I, I've learned to manage it. <laughs> I learned some, something I already do naturally. I am very happy to have that skill. Um, there are so many like quirky little things about myself that it took me a long time to just love and appreciate and just kind of embrace, right? I just think like, I don't know, like I was at the, this is random again, random. This is random, but I was at the gym this morning and I was riding on my bike and I, I, I like to look at myself in the mirror. I don't know about you, but I, I'm fine. And I look even better with like uh, athleisure on. Anyway, so I'm biking, biking, biking. I'm sweating. I'm dripping sweat. I'm in zone two heart rate. So I'm dripping sweat. Like everything is pouring. And like, it's kind of dark. The paint's dark. You know, the way that the lighting was in, I, my skin was just illuminating, right? And I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm fucking beautiful. Um, but I remember, I also had the thought of like, once upon a time, like, I, I just, I didn't love this. I was always so confused when people would give me a compliment about my skin and how it looked and I was just like, it just doesn't make sense. Because why? Because like, that's just who I am. Like, this is all I know. This is truly all I know. Um, and not that I thought really poorly of it. It's just like, there were points where I was just like, I did have those internal thoughts of like, oh my gosh, this, beautiful dark chocolatey skin doesn't make it beautiful this is not what people are attracted to um and as I got older of course I I really learned how beautiful my skin was. I was so I have so much admiration just for my skin that I sit in every day um truly beautiful when the sun is out for the summer it is just this like bronze deep chocolate color that is uh Honestly, it's, it's beautiful to see. I It's truly beautiful to see. And then like, even in the like winter, colder months, like the skin is, my skin is still like, uh, it's just like moisturized. Shout out to Jergens on that. It's still moisturized. Um, and it's just, it's just beautiful. And um, it just took me a long time to really just talk about it like that. Like, 
I just went on a tangent for about like two minutes just talking about how amazing my skin is. Um, the, the richness of the color, the suppleness, like literally. Um, and I used to not think that. And I feel bad for little Atenosa who um, just didn't know. She just didn't see herself like everybody else saw her. And still today there are aspects where, uh, hero, get out. There are still aspects where I don't see what other people are seeing. Um, I don't see what other people are seeing. Or it takes me a really long time to feel or to really have their words sink in and be like, you are talented. You are this, you are that. The things that make you unique are the things that we love the most about you, right? I think for so long we try to fit into a bubble or we try to pick up different aesthetics. I mean, that's just how we are as human beings. We want to not do anything that makes us stick out. But we are all uniquely made. Um, we are just perfect human beings, exactly how we are with all of our quirks, with our flaws, with our positive characteristics, whatever that is to you, right? We have different interests. We, we operate and see the world differently. And those are the things that even though we are perpetually told like this, is the thing that makes your life hard and you shouldn't love that about yourself or blah, 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 blah. Truly, um, no, but for real, like, it, those are some of the best parts about ourselves. And so I'll get to our affirmation. Um, it's one of those things, like, it might take you a while. It might take anyone a while. I'm still working on it. I, I want to say I live all of me but I'm sure there are still parts I can't think of them off the top of my head duh still parts of me that I am grappling with uh that I don't even fully understand are just who I am as a person how I operate in this world and so but I try every day to either one accept them and then I'll learn to love them and then I'll really embrace them really embrace and encapsulate them and be like wow this is such an amazing part of who I am the whole me so our affirmation today is I love, accept, and embrace myself for exactly who I am. I love, accept, and embrace myself for exactly who I am. Mm. Mm -mm. Exactly who you are. Exactly who you are. That's what makes you so amazing. Um, but before, truly, not even before anyone else loves you, it is so important to love, accept, and embrace yourself for your entirety. You, you spew out the love that you truly have for yourself. You are so more accepting of people because you accept yourself. You are able to embrace people because you can embrace who you are. Um, that's just very important. And so I hope you go into this week with a lot of intention and positivity about really getting in tune with yourself and just loving every single part. Um, well, that's all I got for you this week. I hope to see you next week for our weekly affirmation. You can go to enhanceintheindividual.com so you can get the Afro Empowerly Empowerment Affirmation deck online. Um, make sure you subscribe and like these videos if you'd like to see them more. Bye.